I mix up Cronenberg and the other director of this time period a lot. John Carpenter. That is proto Goldblum right there. I know very little about this movie. I also know very little about this movie. Good. You're keeping it that way. I'm turning it off. Out of ten. Uh, I guess like a three. It's pretty short. <laughs> they just talked for a hot minute. <laughs> like a five. I don't. I, I didn't hate it, but I don't know what happened. Puked on my tricycle. Oh, he's describing what Mud's gonna do during this movie. Puked on my tricycle. Which one of you is named Tricycle? This is his apartment. It looks like a dungeon. I don't know why she's not <laughs> suspicious at all. It's a piano. I invented it myself. Oh, it's probably the bell in the background, the Darth Vader egg pod. If I was at a science convention and someone brought me to a dungeon and then started playing piano, I'd also think it was a bad idea. There's so many red flags prior to him playing the piano, too. Like, he's just a strange individual. It's why I love this movie. He's Jeff Goldblum, that's why he's a strange individual. He's channeling the Goldblum, though, like, really well into the role. I call them telepods. They're controlled by this. They're controlled by this 1950s military <laughs> computer. Retrofuturism's tight. Yeah, it is. I need an object. Say, do you have something uh, on you that's uh, personal? You know, like your ID, maybe? Yeah, your license, your What's credit your social cards? security number? Yeah, I'll take that, too. <laughs> Keep your eye on the stocking. Don't take your eyes off this one fixed position so I can go lock yes. the door. Isn't this what Willy Wonka did to Mike TV? Can you put people in that bitch? I think that's the plot of the movie, Ian. Fuck yeah. You know, I don't get why people say this is the best episode of Breaking Bad. It's not that engaging. I'm a journalist. Oh, no, 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 no. You knew that. Uh, wait, interview. I only brought you back here to have really kinky and weird sex. I'm gonna teleport my penis into your vagina. <laughs> Permanently. What do you think? It's a joke. What? He's conning you. Before you publish a story, you need more, like, credible sources than, I was there and I saw it, you know? You're not she also had a recording. She only has a recording of him talking about a teleporting machine. Anyone can do that. Yeah, exactly. He's not ready yet. I can only teleport inanimate objects. That's still super fucking useful. Shipping is the biggest industry in our country right yep. now. Yep. If we invented teleportation, gone. Well, I don't know if it's that useful Food because... shipping would be tight. Because food shipping is one of the biggest problems that we have. Where trying Medical to get shipping. a crop from one place to the other, it Medical just goes shipping. bad. I, I get that, but I think the problem that no one's really addressing in or out of the movie here is that those two are connected by a tube. <laughs> you need, you can't just put one in Antarctica and then put one here. Just got some big fucking tubes. Wi -Fi. You can't tube to Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Use Wi-Fi. <laughs> we already have telephone wire poles. Right, but I think what would be infinitely easier is if he kept dedicating time and resources to making it wireless. Yeah, like Willy Wonka did with Mike TV. Yeah, so you have to ship one so to every part of the world. So what you're saying is Willy Wonka is really the hero of the fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like the way this movie shot a lot. You want me to come back later and tuck you in? No. Key. She was either asking for the key back or talking about the Italian soup. Is it going to show it? I forget that they show it. Oh, oh. they do. It's almost a monkey. It's like an inverted it's monkey. It's like 95% a monkey. What's it missing? It's skin. that will yeah. grow back. You Maybe. throw that back in the jungle, it'll be totally fine. Shake, I don't believe you made me watch this. The monkey just died, zero. Yeah, I know. I, I hit Ian's soft point. Four of the same outfit and then a Jeff Goldblum jacket. He's a cartoon character. They wear the same clothes every day. It's easier to animate. This way I don't have to um, expend any thought on what I'm going to wear. I just grab the next set on the rack. See, but this is actually like character development because it's... Mm -hmm. It's explaining him a little bit. And also explains their cheap-ass budget this movie had. Did they engage in sexual intercourse already? No. She's wearing, I think, his stuff. That's... No, that that's her, that's her top. It fits her. Imagine they had sexual intercourse and he put the full suit and tie back on. <laughs> Seems like him, though. Oh. They're gonna they engage in yeah. sexual intercourse now. Yep. Ah, yes, I love when a lady slobbers on my oh, rib cage. Want... It's the flesh. It just makes you crazy. That's suck it. Suck on his nipple. That you can see the idea. He figures it out from getting his nipple sucked on. <laughs> That's a good-looking steak. Dude. Yeah, it is. Cook that bitch up. The steak isn't living matter now. Yeah, I'd argue this shouldn't prove anything. It was dead. It was well, inanimate. Well, it would bring him closer to what he's trying to fix. True. Right, but you'd think he would have been trying dead flesh already. Well, he didn't realize that until his nipples got sucked. If that shit was white, he would look like a president. He has the puff curls and everything. He looks better with short hair. I think he still pulls it off, though. Like, the young it's not, in the 80s works. It's not terrible, but I yeah. think it's 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 decidedly better short. He looks like the sixth member of Motley Crue. I think There's only, only four members. That's <laughs> no, not anymore. He's the fifth and sixth? Yes. Oh, her weird stalker boss. Particle. Particle. <laughs> 
What is that what he calls his dick? Because it's that small and goes light speeds. We're finished, remember? I'll spend the night anywhere I damn well please. He could fire her. He could. Uh, but then oh, yeah. she can clap back and be like, I don't Yo. know if she can clap back in 86. I'm not another monkey. Where does he keep getting these monkeys? Oh, Local man, Rob oh, Zoo. It's, oh, he has grants and stuff. He has he, they, they, the science people. Five monkeys. So he what you're saying is monkeys. he has a virtually infinite source of baboons. Imagine the expenditures list. 36 baboons, 3 tons of coke, camcorder. You'll never have to get car sick again. Or air sick or seasick. Oh, I know. He is upending life as we know it. Now that the story is done, I can break up with you. I like how the motivation was him not getting car sick, and this would literally change the entire world. Who keeps their eyes open while they kiss? That's weird. That's a great photo! I still have the residue of another life, you know. I have to scrape it off my shoe and get rid of it once and for all. Why not teleport him into the ocean? With your machines. Let's teleport him into the sun! The only recorder of the event from the inside out. Okay. Like the baboon the first time. I don't know if in 86 you can appeal, like, sexual harassment. Well, he probably is HR if this is 86. He is H- Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now she runs out late at night to see him. This would be me if I was a scientist. Drinking. Talking to the monkey. He has your dream job. Infinite baboon source. Oh, there's the, 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 the fly. Title of the movie. I get it now. The entire movie was actually just about the teleportation, and it's called The Fly just because there's a scene with a fly in it. What if he's inside out by the time he's there? <laughs> <laughs> now he fixed the problem. Yes! The monkey is smart. Well, the second he leaves, tear apart the couch. <laughs> the fly's in there with him. You guys figure it out yet? Why don't I see Jeff Goldbong? The fly's just where his penis was. Jesus, he's... Very, very muscular. Do you think he's gonna do that thing that flies do where every time he lands somewhere he shits? <laughs> he throws up on his food so he, he can throws up and goes... <laughs> Alright, honey, I'm off to work. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, he's staring right at her while they kiss. That's weird. He's still doing it. Ooh, gross. Is he breathing like a fly flies? No, no it's a literal fly. fly in the room. He doesn't go... <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what the movie was implying. Oh, he caught it. Oh, he has fly reaction time. This is actually a superhero origin story, guys. It's you not a horror. absolutely convince me of that. Hey, buddy, what you doing just standing in the middle of the room? He's going, like, full all over Queen right now. Salmon ladder time. Nothing inherently terrifying has happened yet. That's what I like about it, though. Horror movies start with, like, this little, like, three or four minute sequence that's horrifying. And then it starts as a regular movie after that point, like the title card drops. That's one of the problems I have with It Follows, is it starts with um, the scene it that starts. it does. Yeah. Whereas this one is just a normal movie. Yeah. And if you didn't know anything prior, which you guys kind of don't, then... I think this is like a really weird romantic comedy about a scientist. <laughs> There's yeah. no comedy here. What do you mean? This rom-com, no comedy. Yeah, it's, it's drama. God, okay, romantic drama. He's put roughly 300 spoons of sugar into that, whatever it is. Yep. It has whipped cream on top. So, uh, listen, uh, not to whack- Bruh, please stop. <laughs> it's a cup of just sugar. She has to take that away from him before he drinks it and Did fucking Did he ask implodes. the waitress for, hey, can I just get a whole ass cereal bowl full of sugar? I mean, uh, what an accomplishment. <laughs> he sounds like us when we're trying to make a point, but our brains just stall. <laughs> yeah, a lot of time in commentary mode, uh, our brains just shut down halfway through. <laughs> a lot of our outtakes are us just, like, ranting, and then we go- <laughs> <laughs> and then we just stop because we can't finish our thought. You think he dies after sex? I thought that was spiders. That's praying mantises, but just the men, because the women eat them. Hairs or something. An anticlimactic version of this movie would be if he inherited the trait that flies die after like a day or two. He's in the middle of going at it and his heart just implodes. Does she have any cooch left? Jesus. His dick must be raw. <laughs> nice tidy whiteies, Jeff. Sorry, I couldn't finish that sentence. He I has like an Adonis that. body right now with all of the strength and all of the stamina in the world, and he's going at it for hours. Oh, is so he going like, to try to cut them off? And he got this from a fly? I want you to go through. I want to teleport you as soon as possible, right now. That way you can also want to fuck for hours. And I want to be able to wear you out. We'll be the perfect couple. The dynamic duo. Come on, right now. You know, I could still believe he just has a hugely massive coke addiction. Flies are just coke addicts. Too chicken shit to be a member of the dynamic duo club? Okay, then great. I fucking love Jeff Goldblum. The dynamic duo implies two people which cannot be a club. You only know society's straight line about the flesh. You can't penetrate beyond society's sick, gray fear of the flesh. See, I totally buy this quick change because if you have that much adrenaline pumping through you oh, all yeah. the fucking time, that'll happen. He, he's snorted like eight pounds of yeah. sugar in his coffee. Humans would have passed fine. out, but he's not entirely human, so he's just going. Is he eating a Toblerone? That's how you know he's evil. He has no shirt. <laughs> he just showed up to this bar. That yeah, means he well, can't get service. 
He's gonna go in there and be like, Hello, would you like to be a dynamic duo? Do I look like a hooker to you? A little bit. What if he puts him through the fucking table? Crunch! I love the soundtrack. Oh my god, oh. he's secreting. <laughs> or I fucking won. Time to steal and bed this woman. That was the sound of it going in. <laughs> like a balloon. You're changing, Seth. Everything about you is changing. Yeah, you look like you just died. Ooh, those hairs are coming out of his face, too. Look at me, does this look sick? Does this look like a sick man to you? No! Stop it! Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick as fuck! <laughs> Sick because I got this monster energy. I'm gonna start throw. fucking skateboarding. <laughs> Go away, Dad. X Games. It's 2002. Why? Oh, he looked uh, at himself finally. I'm just. I'm gonna watch the rest of this movie through the mirror. That secretion scene. Oh made man, my that stomach was good. flip. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. Uh -huh. It wasn't his tooth too. Stop, please. His goddamn fingernail. Stop. This man is literally falling apart. I've never been more free. Ah, uh, ooh. Mm. His finger just secreted onto the mirror. I, I don't need. I don't need the. Uh, <laughs> no, I want to give the you all description. The I don't know if Mud's gonna be able to watch the rest of the movie. Thank Not you, Brundle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, computer. Very cool. This is actually sick, though. Those are some pretty decent graphics. <laughs> I like how very basic the question is. <laughs> if yeah. Why? Oh. What happened? That's the end of the movie. Commercial break. Oh. I'm a fly. <laughs> Guess the Rotten Tomatoes score. I'm gonna go with the year of release, 86. 89. 92. Damn. He just threw up on the food. Yeah, I'm not gonna look at the screen. Do I have permission to claim your body when this is all over? I want to use it for stuff. Science. With my penis. Show me. No. Nah, he's terrifying. I wouldn't show anybody. Oh god, stop showing people Jeff Goldblum. Just let him let him sit there in his house until he dies. I love how uncomfortable this movie makes people. He looks like Gollum. I love how relatively calm Jeff Goldblum is as a fly. Hey, you guys. I'm becoming Brundlefly. He couldn't have called it anything worse. <laughs> he's speaking in the computer basic language. If Brundle and Fly fuse, what become? Brundle fly. fly. At the very least, it should make a fabulous children's book. No, it won't. Children! Children are gonna look at you and die! Ready for a demonstration, kids? No. My god. That's a really important use of not showing you what's happening because it's a huge character shift for him. Yeah, I'd also be crying. Yeah, I'm about to start crying. Jesus Christ. I'm pregnant with Cess, baby. This, see, now, alright. This brings up the complete moral dilemma. It's going to be alright, Ronnie. Has the doctor been filled in properly? No. She's been filled in properly. <laughs> With fly DNA, probably. <laughs> oh! That is that is a whole ass maggot. Oh, she. Oh, it was just a dream. Thank God. Run a fly. Problem. Am fly. He looks like burnt toast. What burnt toast are you looking at, Ian? Artifacts of a bygone era. Which one of those is his wiener? I would not approach this man without a weapon. What if he just lunges? He's way faster than you. Flamethrower. <laughs> I agree. That's Flame the thrower. weapon I would bring. One weapon. Flamethrower. Flamethrower. Elon Musk, I need help. <laughs> Don't leave that door open. Close that door. Close every door. Burn down the building. I was <laughs> literally about to say I would commit arson part. right now. I don't care if I go to jail. Oh, just combine yourself with this fucking guy. <laughs> He's the worst. I don't want it in my body. If I were a girl, I'd be terrified of getting pregnant now. If I were a girl, I'd be terrified of getting pregnant in general. Yeah, fair. Well, okay. What's the story? Problem. If Brundle will fly, <laughs> then how not fly Brundle? I want an abortion. I want six abortions, just to be sure. <laughs> abort I... the baby twice. Abort me if you need to. Just twice. shoot me in the back of the head. Does fucking Chadwick over here try to save her? He's the worst character. He's actually really fleshed out throughout the movie. He goes yeah, he's got of... a lot of flesh. A lot of... And it's yes. out. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I, I want to really bad. I really wish I had the ability to kill you right now, Seth. Yes. 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 He's gonna turn himself into a fly, and then they're gonna fly fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the movies that now taught Isn't me. a Marvel movie, Chief? That's what movies now taught me, by the way. That's, yeah, that's, my, true. that's immediately where my brain went. No, he would turn himself. What, what eats his flesh? The wasp. Spiders. The bamboo. The, the wasp. The, the baboon. I would yeet the movie a fresh 10 if it turned into a fucking baboon. Imagine the fucking smell of this place. It probably smells like vomit, rotten food, and shit. Is that a gun? Yeah, it's a, he has to put it together for a little bit. You know, I'm gonna give him a hint. Just get a fly swatter. 
<laughs> Gigantic <laughs> fly swatter. This guy merges with a fly swatter. Bro, oh, merge with the gun! <laughs> I mean, that's actually smart. Uh-oh, I see a shadow in the background. You already know how great this is gonna end. Scream! Oh, he hit the off button. He didn't turn off, though. Oh, God! Oh, he passed out from shock. I, I would, would too. too. Oh, don't vomit on his leg as well. Yup. Okay. Well, he's hungry. He's gotta eat a little bit. It's not that he's hungry. He has to use this guy for DNA. I thought he was gonna absorb Gina Davis. Why would he do that when he could marry Gina Davis? I wouldn't even shoot the fly with a shotgun. I'd shoot myself. I'd what? shoot the fly and then I'd shoot yeah, myself. Yeah, fly first. He's a problem with the that whole... Is, that is murder-suicide territory He's right a menace there. to society. He's a menace to the world. And then shoot Gina Davis just to be safe. Just to be safe. She's carrying the fucking kid. Dude, he looks like a fucking microwave pizza that you left in the oven for six hours. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah! Oh, it gets better, too. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, baby! This is, like, the most satisfying fucking part of the movie. Where he molts and adjusts the fly. Yes! Did his eye just melt? His face oh, broke his apart, everything. like continents. He looks like falling. He kind of looked like E.T. for a moment there. Oh, that looks great. It does look pretty good. Look at that. Fantastic. Look at the way it's moving. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I like how even though you're disgusted, you can still admire the artwork. It's the transformations that get to me. Oh yeah, yeah it's disgusting. That's what that this I'm fine with because yep. it's like See but, for like, me the transformations yeah. add to it. You know what I mean? Oh, oh I'm the sure they do. So it's just gross. those are the moments where I wanna vomit. Yep. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I want to see a little like tendrils on his mouth just vibrate and shit. Yeah, that's great. Did he shoot the pod? He no, shot, he shot the wire. I shot the tubes! Oh, the fuck just happened? You know, this guy's had a pretty good redemption arc in this Absolutely. story. Absolutely. Like he. Goes I mean, he's still being, a creepy weirdo. He's but... still a creepy weirdo, but he is he has stepped the fuck up in the. Absolutely. In the, in the, I never thought I'd sympathize so much with him by the end of the movie. Yeah, it's like, oh man, I'm actually kind of sad you lost your body. This though. What would that be called? Brundle pod. Brundle pod. Brundle fly pod. Cause so it's three separate entities. Oh my god, you just feel so fucking bad for him. What, Brundlefly? Oh my god, he is still alive. You know, Gina, the shotgun's right there still. Not too long ago, you were banging that. Just to be clear. Not- no, <laughs> she was not banging that at all. Oh, he's gonna put it on his head. Yes. I would be in the same position. Do it, please, for the love of god. <laughs> Sweetheart, I am literally suffering every time I breathe. <laughs> his head exploded. Well deserved. Alright, I'm gonna go get that abortion now. <laughs> All right, let's split up. You get the abortion, I'm going to the ER. No, it's more like, all right, I'll do you next, and then I'll finish it off with myself. Yeah, I think I'd be in the same boat. <laughs> now, I'm going to teleport with the fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teleport with the carcass of What the if fly we teleport pod. together, you get your organ? Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Jesus. That's it. Out that's, of ten, boys. That was gross. It's a very quick ending. Yes. Good. What do you think? That was really that good. That was disgusting. Yes. I like how slow burn it was. Mm -hmm. It was, it slow was an burn. hour and a half. Yeah. Of slow burn. Slow which burn, is but ridiculous. it also got right to the point every yeah. single time. Yeah, yeah. It None didn't the waste scenes any drag. Time. Yep. That Everything was is gross. Important. Every scene had a purpose and really went somewhere and furthered some yeah. characters. Yeah. Sometimes multiple. Like, all three. Mm. I think every single person in this has an arc. All the three mains, at least. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, there's only, like, three characters in the whole movie, really. Yeah, the ones mm -hmm. they focus on. Mm -hmm. And I love the path. Not to just talk about my own movie, but goddamn, <laughs> I love the path of redemption for... The weird, creepy pedo... Not pedo. Uh, Stathis. Um, Stathis. 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 Yeah, the weird, creepy guy who's, like, still in love with his worker who he shouldn't be. That's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I love how, by the end of the movie, like, he's not the hero, but... But he's a normal like, guy. Regular guy that you're really hoping makes it out alive and survives. Real Steve Harrington. Yeah. And then Goldblum. Oh, oh my God. Seth Brundle. <sighs> More like Brundle Fly. I want to hear what you guys thought about. Uh, that was disgusting. I loved it, though. I... Oh, God damn. I legitimately felt like I was close to vomiting three times during that movie. Um, I, I couldn't smell the movie, thank God, or I would have thrown up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, When he walks into that apartment, though, with all the food vomit everywhere. Oh, yeah. God, Dude, don't, you can just imagine. I loved the color grading and the way that the camera moved a lot. The mm -hmm. soundtrack worked really, really well. It was very effective. The jump scare wasn't even a jump scare. It was just something that happened, which is yeah. good, because jump scares suck. It's a very, very well-designed movie. Yeah. It's barely a horror, too, until, like, the last 30 minutes, I'd That's argue. what I love about it. It starts so normal. It's just, like, a regular movie, and then it's like, bada-bing, here's some weird shit. And, and I love like, how you guys didn't know too, too much about the story. 
Like, yeah. I really wanted to hit you fresh with this. I knew he turned into a fly, that's it. <laughs> that's all I knew about the movie, too, yeah, was Jeff yeah. Goldblum fused with a fly. I was surprised at how good it was, actually. Yeah, me too. Well, not surprised, because I've only heard good things. I go back and forth, and I don't want to name drop some other movies, because they might be on my list as well, but, like, I go back and forth if this is my favorite or not. It probably is. Favorite is in horror? Favorite horror, yeah. Okay. Um, I, can, I can see that. It's up there. I don't know if it's my favorite favorite, but it's definitely up there. It's definitely not my favorite horror, but I, I'd put it up well, there. Well, that's because you thought it was gross, and you couldn't watch parts. Well, You're very we, right. Well, this brings us to our concluding out of ten. I'm going to go with a solid nine. I'd have to watch it again. I agree with nine. I'd have to watch oh, parts no. of it again. Ma, uh, I, I thought you would have gotten lower because you were so grossed out. No, that's that's, that's a never part. a bad thing. Yeah. It's just, I, I'm never going to detract from a movie because I have a weak stomach. Fair enough. You know, like, scary stories to tell in the dark. I, I had to leave the theater because I almost vomited. I still think that movie's fantastic. Yeah, as long as what's grossing you out serves the movie well. Exactly, and mm. I think it makes sense for all these nasty things to happen that I'm not going to mm. repeat because my stomach's still very weak. It's yeah. not but like, like if it's as long as it's not gross out humor for or gross out imagery for the sake of mm-hmm. look yeah. at how gross this is. It's I not think, like Human Centipede where the whole movie's just disgusting and literally not good at when all. Yeah. yeah when the Brundlefly fuses with the telepod, it is maybe one of the most saddest three minutes on screen i've seen with the shotgun he puts it up to his head yeah she, and then she's, she's like, like i crying. can't do this and he's like please i am suffering yeah goes, oh my god that's like powerful yeah like, wow but yeah it's pretty good so yeah. jake what's your out of oh, 10 solid 10 bitch yeah it's, it's a good <laughs> movie. fucking banger but i see this as a perfect movie i don't see a flaw you care about him at the beginning of the movie because he's like basically the main character mm-hmm. and then during the middle you're like oh my god he's getting he's getting angry you see it and you're like starting to root against him a little bit mm-hmm. and then by that point you're like rooting completely against him and then you realize he's still the same person underneath which is really really good yeah his character development's fantastic i love how you keep sympathizing yeah. and hating characters over and over like a flippy floppy but it yeah. all makes sense in the story mm-hmm. and one of the things is i'm gonna hit it with the jake uh i don't give anything a 10 on my first viewing except i do most of the time but I, I would want to watch that again to, like, mm-hmm. get more of it. Because now that I know what happens, I can pay more attention to the other stuff. Yeah. I know when to shut details. my eyes. But, yeah. So, yes. I guess this comes to me. All right. I've said that I, I'm i going with this movie before. But so have you. Yep. And so have you. Oh, no. It's the house that Jack built. I'm picking what? the house that Jack you built. Are? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm can I ask what brought this on? Built. Um, For one, I've wanted to watch it. But for two... I, I had a couple of things in mind, and I was like, eh, no, that's full of shit, that's garbage. I only had bad movies in mind, and I'm like, I want to watch something that I haven't seen that I've heard is, is really good. It is your turn to funnel bad movies now that I've kind of stopped. No, I'm not funneling shit. That's Mud's, <laughs> it's Mud's turn to funnel shit hey, in the hey, thing. Because hey, hey, I'm hey. picking The House of Jack Bill. Alright, well, see you next week for The House that Jack Bill.